Happy Monday, guys. <clears throat> Today, uh, I hope y'all, you guys all had a really good weekend. I spent the weekend with my boys and took some pictures of the boys. That reminds me, I need to send some pictures of my boys to their parents. They they brought just their shorts to go play in the snow in Idaho. I don't know. I had enough gear for them, but still, I don't know. Anyway. So I was thinking this weekend and there's, I had so much stuff going through my mind, you know, what I could cover this week. And I think I'm decided to just look at the big picture. So let's look at the big picture. What's going on in society? Why am I doing what I'm doing? And this whole week, I'm going to concentrate on uh, solutions and why those solutions are necessary. Everything has to do with breaking down conflict, right? The conflict in our society is increasing and it's being promoted through various means. The reason it's being promoted is because it's a lot easier to draw energy out of a conflict than it is to, there's two ways to draw energy. You can create a conflict or a separation between people and then draw energy out of that conflict, or you can create larger and larger. You can draw people towards you to attract more energy. Well, we're being taught, you know, in a lot of the spiritual community to become an individual, to draw energy towards yourself, but nobody's really teaching how to do it as a group. And that's what I'm here for, right? That's why everything, if, if all of us are just individuals drawing energy from each other, we're trying to sell each other something, then we're all trying to suck energy from each other. And that's kind of, that's not promoting a, it's promoting conflict, you want an equal exchange of energy for a healthy relationship. And anytime you're trying to suck energy off of a source, you know, you're trying to sell something to somebody all the time, then you're not, everybody's trying to do the same thing. So it's, it's just creating more conflict. That's what's going on in our society right now. So, and the bigger players, the ones that have the most employees, it is most beneficial to make, make sure that everybody else is staying in that state. So we have what we're seeing, we're seeing a disruption. We're seeing that everybody is dissatisfied with the present system that we're under right now, right? This uh, socialized feudalism, right? You have this distorted hierarchy that wants to control everything. So you have to teach people to let go of control and start serving people listening first and then providing whatever it is that that person needs that will support you on your journey right because you're creating a good relationship there when you're listening and then supporting what someone needs i need support right so you know we all need support in uh in our lives so you know and i'm here to support you in this way so leave it in the comments let me know what you think uh there, there's a lot of different things that are impacting our society right now that are driving people apart you know anytime you identify with something other than the whole you're pulling yourself out and saying well i'm an individual and you know this is uh usually you're creating some kind of victimized uh, mindset you know you, especially with identities now you know we've moved past color identity as far as victimization now we're victimizing according to sex and transgender and all these things that really are doing nobody any good to identify in those ways and trying to separate yourself from anybody else yeah we're all unique we're all part of a larger organism and we're all in support of each other so you don't want you know you have to find balance you want to be make sure that you can find uniqueness but you also want to make sure that you understand that you are empowered only by your ability to accept people for the way they are and, and provide support for people where, of wherever they're at. So you're not empowering yourself by isolating yourself and uh, creating a barrier between you and somebody else and saying that I, I am more entitled than someone else because of this, this, and this, and because of something that happened in the past. If you're living in the past, you're not moving forward. It might be a hard thing to say, but that, that's the reality. And if you're putting energy into organizations that are trying to create conflict, then you're not doing anybody any service, including yourself. So sometimes, you know, I, this is kind of a little bit of a harsh message today, but this whole week is probably going to be a lot of harsh messages. <laughs> so I love you guys and I support you in whatever way I can. Sometimes it's this way. So 
Have a great Monday and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.